Hello, good morning, and welcome back to my channel, my friends. We're traveling to New York City from Calgary, Alberta. Hello friends, from a showered, curly-haired Anna. We are just staying at my family member's house. We had a beautiful breakfast with some local bagels from the bagel store down the street. I was pretty spoiled, of course, coffee. Then we headed to the store just to load up on a few groceries for the week, and then we went for a run, which like really kicked my butt. Um, I went for 6K, although my timer said I was running a full minute slower than my usual. It was really nice along the riverside. Um, you're kind of like in the forest and the river and across the street is the highway, but nonetheless, pretty special to be just outside of the Manhattan craziness of New York in some kind of outdoor space. So I feel really lucky. I love New York, it's a lot. I can never live in the city. It's too much for me. Now I'm just doing some work, catching up on some freelance work. And we have dinner and the ballet tonight. I don't think I'm gonna be taking you with me, but just know it's good. Today we are in New York City and we are heading into town to explore the city. I've got about half a day today, but don't worry, we'll share more as I continue to adventure into town. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps to keep the channel growing so I can keep making this type of content. I've been staying in um, Upper New York. I don't know what the proper term is. So I just have about a 45 minute train ride into town. But honestly, I feel like it's a tip. Like if you wanna live or visit New York City, I really feel staying out of town is like the best way to do it. For me, New York is very overwhelming. And I think the times I've come here, it's been a lot. So today uh, I might go to the Guggenheim Museum. I might meet up with an old friend. I'm just trying to figure out, but honestly, I just wanna get into town, walk around, explore, and that be it. I am such a noob. <laughs> this gentleman was walking his dog and I just froze and turned off the camera. But anyway, thank you for joining me. Let's go explore New York. I figured before the train comes, we could chat a little bit. So. It is currently April and the mask wearing in New York is kind of self-discretion. Some people wear them on the train, some people don't. I was at a ballet last night, Ballet Hispanico, the New York Center, which was incredible. If you're newer here, my background is actually in dance. I even have a university degree in it. And it was so incredible after the pandemic to just see capable, moving, muscular, just like mystical bodies moving in space and I just forgot what the human body is capable of. So we're currently just waiting for the train. I will be wearing a mask on the train at the ballet. You had to wear a mask, that's why I'm mentioning it. In stores, it's kind of hit and miss, but I would say more than what I just experienced living in Calgary. So I'm pretty impressed with that. This train is an MNR train, which they have an app, which I have found very useful to just calculate train times. tickets for this train the way that they check them is you have a little punch card so this is like a 10 card off peak because there's peak hours and non-peak hours so the conductor comes through and punches it and then you're good to go and just chill out there is some charging stations otherwise it's pretty comfy seats because you can like dangerous to sleep on uh, I actually enjoy the train ride because it's a time where I often there's no one around me. Edit photos or upload my Instagram story. So if you're not following me on Instagram, do so now. 
we're gonna put the camera away, we're gonna meet you at Grand Central and get some work done on my phone. of Grand Central Station. We're walking down the street. It has started to rain. It's like Vancouver rain, not real rain. I brought my rain jacket, but I didn't think through like big. So I'm trying out my canvas tote, which the intention is for it to be my day backpack. We'll see how that turns out, but got my nice little lemon. I actually have my puffer underneath because I know it can fit. It's warm enough. Just going to meet a friend. And I'm not lost so far, so that's good. So, then we're gonna head to the Guggenheim after getting a croissant. walking through the Guggenheim Museum. That was pretty fascinating. I really like the Jillian Waring exhibition they have on right now where she features different portraits, self-portraits, but she has masks on. I'm gonna go find a coffee, bagel, and then I'll head back home because I gotta do some work. Proof that I actually was inside the Guggenheim. It's currently like spitting outside. It's not too bad. We're gonna go find H&H &H bagels, which was highly recommended to us. Two hours later. All right, friends. I was really bad vlogger this afternoon because I was at like 81st Street and Grand Central Station's around like 45th Street. It's almost 40 blocks and I had 45 minutes to go and catch my train that only comes every hour. So basically if I missed it, I'm stuck another hour and I needed to be home. I started walking really fast because I'm a fast walker. Thought, no problem, I can make it. I can even have time to go to the bathroom. I don't mind running a bit <laughs> until I started going the wrong way. So I'm very directionally challenged. I'm really good at following a map, a grid directions, but like natural sense of direction just does not exist. So anyway, I said, screw it, let's get on the subway. So I spent $3, got on the subway, made it just with tons of time to spare, even use the washroom, and I'm just walking home now. Do work the rest of the day, catch up on emails, freelance work, some personal admin. I like to do my budgeting on Sundays and kind of like my personal accounting. So comment below if you're interested in that because I love talking budgeting <laughs> and like money. I am by no means a professional financial advisor, but I feel like I'm a really good millennial female advisor. So comment below if you'd love to see how I'm budgeting and recording and spreadsheeting all this. Ciao. Hello, beautiful friends, humans. I thought I would document today or this moment or feeling because this is in between some exciting travel days and I'm really noticing when I'm alone again is when I just procrastinate the out of the day. If I have someone to see or someone around me, I feel this pressure, a positive pressure to like execute, perform and get things done in a really healthy way. But when I'm by myself, I just lose all track of determination, lists, deadlines, 
I did manage to go on the bike. I can at least ride the bike that I have access to right now, an indoor cycling bike. So that felt good to get like a mini sweat on. And I did go outside for a walk. So those things are really important for my mental health, but now I'm kind of just stuck like waiting for the day to end. The sun is slowly going behind the clouds and I'm kind of just wondering what do I do next with my day? And obviously I pulled up the camera to talk about it. That's where my time went. What to do? I got some client work I should punch out. Thanks for listening. Hello, my friends. After the last video you just saw, I did end up going into town to order pizza and I got lost. I did walk by the place I went to last time for pizza and then thought, oh gosh, where do I have to go now? I'm just really noticing my habit for the past month and five days. I've either been living with people or you know, someone's been around me and today's the first day that it feels like I'm back, like how my life was in Vancouver and I can just notice how my motivation determination really just drops off. And I kind of lean towards food and TV as my kind of numbing techniques or distraction techniques. I am proud that today I did make movement a priority and I just showered, <laughs> but didn't do that after cycling because, I don't know, because I didn't feel like it. No excuse. Uh, I made sure to at least clean the kitchen, obviously take care of the dog that I'm dog sitting right now. So that's good. He's okay. Um, but I'm just like chilling in bed. I'm about to watch more YouTube. P.S. This is the best device ever. It's basically like a tripod for your phone. You can do vertical as well. On a plane, imagine that's the seat in front of you. It is a game changer. So I'll link that below. It's the new uh, new laxi like galaxy but new in the front new laxi adulting learning how to basically make yourself behave <laughs> good night friends i can't even tell if i'm in focus who knows just gotta look both ways crossing around 